Hello and welcome to this uh, sh- quick screencast on uh, the Hiroku setup. So in the last screencast that we watched, we talked about Hiroku uh, and I showed you how to deploy your application to Hiroku. Now, after I was done, I noticed that uh, there were some steps that I didn't mention. And uh, if you didn't scroll down the tutorial, uh, you might have missed some things. So I wanted to make a quick tutorial just to help you uh, set get set up with uh, with uh, Hiroku. So one important thing is, um, if you hadn't figured it out yet, you do need to uh, sign up for a Hiroku account. And then once you have signed up, you need to visit your terminal. So I'm, I'm sure this by this time you know how to get your terminal. I'm just gonna fire up my terminal, there it is. Uh, and then we're gonna take the following steps. But before we even uh, take the steps, let me show you the steps first and then we'll come back and do them. And then I will uh, sh- post them to the show notes at zambezi.app. So let's go back to the browser and I'll minimize this and go right here. Okay, so first we want to check to see if uh, your, you want to check to see if your system is ready by typing in Heroku version in your terminal. Again, you don't, you, you skip the dollar sign. The dollar sign just means that you're in your terminal. So Heroku version. And then the next step will be Heroku login to, to uh, log into Heroku. So in what you use is your the username that you use to create your Heroku account and the password that you use to log into Heroku. That's what you are going to be prompted to add. And then uh, you add your SSH keys by running that command command uh, in your terminal. Heroku keys add. Next, you you then want to create your application. So this is the step that we went through. But you, if you ran into trouble, it's because you didn't have the the those steps taken care of at the beginning. And those are provided in the tutorial if you scroll down. You, 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 uh, if you happen to read everything, you might have seen this. So you go to, you create your ap- application, Heroku Create, and then you can then run he- Git Push Heroku Master. Okay. So just to be clear, these steps here, all the way to the Heroku Keys Ed, you only need to do them once. It's only a one-time system setup. And then the rest of these, you do them when you have a new application. So when you have your new application, you'd run a Heroku Create. And as you build your application, as time goes on, you're pushing new versions of an application. You only need to, to uh, run git push Heroku after running git push. Okay, so let's go and see what this is all about. Let me go to into my terminal. Another quick way to go to your terminal is just hitting the command spacebar. Okay, remember what we said? So it's Heroku dash dash version to see if Heroku is fresh to set up. So this tells me I have Heroku set up. And if you don't have it set up, uh, go back and watch the last video. You just have to you have to install the Heroku command line interface. You can also go into a search engine and type in Heroku CLI and it will take you to a Heroku tutorial. Heroku has some great tutorials. And then the next step from here was go to, was to type in Heroku login, right? And I'm already logged in, so I don't have to, to log in anymore. The next step, I'm just showing you the steps here. The next step is Heroku keys. Add to add your your keys. All right. When you've added your keys, you can then run Heroku create. To create your application. So and you you have to hit return or enter depending on the machine you're on. So and then finally you hit, you type in git push Heroku master. This, your, this will push your application to Heroku. Right, so that's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, please send them to feedback at zambezi.app. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.